It's on looping back for another video. Okay, do you hear that roaring noise? It's that from our air fryer. <laughs> right out of the camera. So that's our from our air fryer. Look what we're doing today. The spicy chicken sandwich from is that Maker's Mark? Member Smart. I always say Maker's Mark. You know uh, what Maker's Mark is, Hudson? Uh, pretzel brand. It's a bourbon. Dang it. It's a bourbon. So anyway, we're doing these from, uh, these came from Sam's, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, Sam's. And it's a one out of three on the heat scale. Yeah, and we've already done the regular one, uh, chicken sandwich that's like this. It's one of our most watched videos. We've also done the chicken nuggets and their waffle fries. So Their chicken nuggets are the best and their waffle fries are the worst. All right, so anyway, we'll be right back in just a minute to uh, let you know what we think about this. Uh, it's just chicken and a bun. We have got some homemade ranch to go on it, so we'll be back in just a minute. We're back. We are back. And that's what the spicy chicken sandwich from Members Mark, not Makers Mark, looks like. Hudson claims that the chicken looks burnt. It might just because it's like this... Like it's yeah, it's just red. Okay, so here's what I'll say about the sandwich. Uh, Hudson's brother, Wit, has eaten... The, I don't know how many comes in a box. He's eaten all but two of them. This is the last two. <laughs> he had to leave two for us. No, no, no. He didn't know that there were any left. He said, I don't know. I think I ate them all. So I went out there and I found two in the freezer. All right, so here's what we got. When we ate the original, whatever you want to call it, version of this... Mm -hmm. It was early on in the pandemic. Everybody was asking us to do it because they wanted to know if it was like Chick-fil-A. And and for a frozen chicken sandwich, it was pretty close. Surprisingly, the buns are worse than Chick-fil-A's buns. <laughs> well, I know, but frozen buns are bad. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about a frozen bun. Generally, they're just not good. Look, these buns look look bad. Pretty terrible. But we're not... We're not it is what it is. Well, that's hot. I know you hate for me to say that, but it is what it is. So, what we discovered, though, is for the price and for the ease and for, like, kids coming home from school and wanting something to eat, it's pretty dead gum good, the other one was. Uh, it is one of our most watched videos. of. It may be our most watched video of 2020. 2020. Yep, it probably is. I would look it up right now, but I'm not going to. But I think it may be our most watched what video. What have we done in 2020? Oh, don't bring up 2020. Sorry, I just had to say it was our most watched. So anyway, this thing is supposed to be microwaved. We don't like microwaved frozen stuff generally. So we air fried the chicken patty for eight minutes at 390. And we microwaved the bun. We microwaved the buns for about 45 seconds. Then we put the chicken patty on the bun and we let it kind of meld together. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try this with nothing on it. And then and we'll th try homemade ranch. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so our homemade ranch, we got that stuff's good. All right, so cheers, Hudson. This is the Members Mark. Yeah, Members Mark Southern style spicy chicken sandwich. It's really hot. <laughs> not, I mean, not spicy temperature. I had but, some spice. Yeah, it's a little spicy. That bun is not as bad as I thought it would be either, actually. It's not bad. I mean, it's not great. But Here's what I think they should do. Not that this is a bad idea, but I think they should sell those patties. Just, you know what I mean? Because, like, you can just... Put it on your own bun. Yeah. Maybe they do, and I, we just don't know about it. I know why they do this, because it's all one piece, and you can just microwave it and eat it. But let's just have some patties. The spice is. It is kind of like the chip play spicy chicken sandwich. It is. It, it kind of is. I agree. I, but, but the it's not a buffalo. The Chick Fil A is spicier. It's not a buffalo flavor. It's like a. <clears throat> like cayenne. Yeah, like a t cayenne or a Tabasco kind of flavor. You want a little ranch? Mm -hmm. I do like that the chicken is crunchy. Now, the chicken is probably crunchy because it was in the air fryer. If you do it in the microwave, I, eh, I don't know. What do, you, what do you think? Pick me up with some more. You want more? Mm -hmm. You think it's crunchy in the microwave? No. No way. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. All right, so Hurricane... Oh, gosh, I'm making a mess. So Hurricane Sally 
came ashore this morning in the southern part of Alabama. <clears throat> We're thinking about you down there, people. That that it was a, it was a Category Two, and they didn't think. I think they initially didn't think it was going to be too bad, but I've seen videos and pictures of uh, Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Foley. That, I, feel like it's every, bad. I feel like every year we have a. Well, it's, it looks bad down there. A lot of flooding. So anyway, mm -hmm. hope you guys are okay. We know some people down there that have uh, had some <clears throat> issues. All right, so this is with the homemade ranch. Mm. So Hudson and I talked about it earlier, what you would put on the sandwich. He said ketchup. I have forgot his spot. <laughs> I don't think ketchup would work with that. Ranks would work with it. Blue cheese would work with it. Pickles would be nice on it. We chose no pickles, but... Because not everybody likes pickles, but I feel like more people like ranch than they do pickles. Does that make sense? I ain't worried about what other people like. <laughs> <laughs> it is. This is good. Look, these are like... I want to say they're like a dollar a piece or a dollar something a piece once you break it down. That's pretty good for a dollar mm -hmm. and something. Dollar and change. It's very convenient. Wit eats them all the time when he comes home from school. And this is the first time you've had it just because we decided we weren't going to eat it due to doing a review, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Huddy, let's spray it. What would you give? Oh gosh. What would you give? Members Mart. <clears throat> Southern style spicy chicken sandwich, which I think you can only buy at Sam's. I don't why are these not at Walmart? Bring these to Walmart if maybe they're already there and I don't know about it. <clears throat> what would you give that Huddy on a zero to five scale? And remember that we're not judging this against the Chick-fil-A real one. Real sandwich, we're judging it against like a frozen chicken sandwich. Considering its price and all that, it's four. Good for a one dollar. I think some odd. It's not just a dollar, but yeah. I agree. I think I'm gonna get a four and a quarter though. Four point two five. I, I like this. The spice is good. It's not overwhelming, but there's enough to know that there's a spice. It's spicier than the spicy chicken McNuggets. By the way, I've been told by about 10 people that something wasn't right with our spicy chicken nuggets. McNuggets. So we're probably going to redo that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. First of all, we didn't get the sauce. Second of all, a lot of people said they didn't even think ours were the spicy ones. I, <clears throat> I mean, I think they were because they did have a little spice to them, but they weren't spicy at all. Like, consider them. And they're a different, like, shade of color. Yeah, so, anyway, we're going to try that again. The Travis Scott meal, we're not trying that again. And by the way, we had some people call us out <laughs> for... Maybe bad mouthing McDonald's workers. Look, well, we don't even know who it was. We're not bad mouthing them. But when it's not right, it's kind of hard not to bring it up. Agree? Can eat a on cooked sandwich. And they didn't give us our sauce. So, anyway, I don't want to go back into that. We love McDonald's and we'll go back. <clears throat> it's not like we won't go back. It's just that was a bad experience. Mm -hmm. All right, so Huddy gave it a four. I gave it a four and a quarter. I think it's really good. I think this is. I think this is perfect for teenage kids who want something to eat and nobody's around to cook it for them. I think it's absolutely perfect for that. For me, it's a 4.25. Hudson gives it a 4. The best thing to eat when you don't really know how to cook anything is ramen noodles. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Overall, all time best. If you want Hoodie and the Chili King to review all the ramen noodle, uh, ramen that noodle. would be pretty good. Ramen noodle flavors, comment below. All right, Hoodie, uh, do y'all prefer the cup or do y'all prefer the package? And you do it like in the thing. I prefer the package. I prefer the cup because it has extra stuff in it. it yeah, it but it's I don't know. It's not as good to me. But all right, what well, doesn't matter. All right, so let's wrap this up. Look, we had almost two thousand subscribers. We lost some. We don't know why. 
People do. People don't like people, us. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. We don't care. We get a bad rap. Yeah, that's fine. People don't like us, say unsubscribe. But we need like 20 to get to 2,000. So please share, like, subscribe. Our dog is wanting to go outside, so I'm about to let him outside before he pees in the floor. So four. Honey. And a chili can.